Hello, my name is Peter Entresol, and in this series of tutorials I'll be showing you how to make a website from scratch using HTML5. These tutorials are designed for absolute beginners, so um, I'm going to go over the basics of HTML5 first in this first episode, and the next one we will probably go over tables, and then we will start making a website. Um, Okay, so first, um, you're going to need a text editor. Um, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver CS6, um, but you could use any text editor really. You could use Text Edit if you're on a Mac, uh, Notepad if you're on a PC. Um, I'd recommend Notepad Plus Plus if you're on a PC, um, or Sublime Text 2 if you're on a Mac, because it helps you. Um, set out the code a bit better. Right, um, first I'm going to explain what this all means. Um, in Dreamweaver it generates a basic um, bit of code here um, when we start the project so you'll have to type this out from scratch if you don't have a um, Dreamweaver as your text editor. This first line here is a document type um, Basically, this just tells the browser that we're using HTML5. Um, some of the older versions of HTML have a much longer um, doc type, but for HTML5, that's all you need. Um, next, we have the HTML element. Uh, this is an opening tag, and this is the closing tag. Now, most elements will be will have an open and a closing tag. Um, this is just where all the HTML is going to be going on the page. Um, this is the head element which doesn't get displayed to the browser but such engines and um, the browser uses this information that's going to be in this section. Um, like you could put keywords to help um, get your site found on search engines and we'll go into more information about that in later videos but for today we'll be spending most of the time in this body section the body section is where every bit of code that you're going to see on the screen is going to be put um, so we're going to spend most of our time in this section today um, so first, we just need to set the language of the HTML document to English. So we add an attribute, which you would type lang equals, and then two quote marks. In between these quotation marks, you put en, and then that's, that's that done. So this just tells the browser that we're using the English language on this page. Of course, if you're using another language, you would find the appropriate um, short um, letters for your language and put that in there. So um, I think it's ES for Espanol and different languages like that. It might be DE for German. Okay, so this meta tag here is so it doesn't need a closing tag. Um, this just tells the browser what character set we're using you'll probably never have to change this so we'll just leave it as it is this is the title of the web page um, so this is what will be displayed in the top of the browser um, so I'm just going to change this to YouTube I'm just going to change it to YouTube tutorial you can name it anything you like if you look at the top of this page here, that is the title of the web page, and that's the same for my website here, and that is the title for this website here. Okay, so now we're going to start um, going over some of the basic HTML tags. These tags are the most commonly used ones, um, although there are some others that we'll be using probably in the next episode which um, we use a lot as well. 
but um, today I'm just going to go over the headings and paragraphs as well as unordered and ordered lists. We're going to make a heading tag, so we just type h1 for the first heading, and we close the tag off. And in this element, this is an element by the way, um, as that is an element. So in between these, we're going to type um, my name, and then below it, we're going to make a second heading. Okay, so. In this heading, I'm going to put um, where to find me, uh, below this I'm going to just put a paragraph tag, which is P, and in this paragraph I'm you could write anything you like, but I'm just going to copy some lorem ipsum. Okay, so I've just got this Latin here, which is just a placeholder. Uh, I have no idea what it actually means, but <laughs> you can type anything you like. Um, this is just to show you what it will look like. Um, okay, so underneath this. I'm just going to make a h6 tag to show you the difference. By default, um, it's a lot smaller than the, the first and second heading, and you could have a third, fourth, fifth heading as well. Um, now, you usually don't use these h6 tags very often, but it just signifies that it's not as important as the H1 tag or the second heading. Um, you might use multiple second heading tags on the page, that's fine. So for now we're going to just get rid of this. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go over the basics of an ordered and unordered list. Okay, to make an ordered list, you just type OL and then close it off. Go down a line and then press tab to indent it. By the way, um, in HTML and most other languages, um, we like to press tab to um, indent our code to make it easier to read, if you didn't know that already. Um, now we need a list element, so that's just li, and I'm just going to copy that three times. So now I'm going to put in um, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. As you can see, it has um, generated these numbers here. Now it's telling us that this is a list, and this is the first item, that's the second, and that's the third. Um, this is because it's an ordered list. Now if you want an unordered list, where it'll just display bullet points um, to show that it's not really got any importance over the other, we just type UL instead of OL. So now we've got an unordered list. Now, I know what you're thinking, this doesn't look very great, and why would I want an ordered or unordered list? For example, if you have a drop down menu, you might want an unordered list to display the other um, bits of information below it. I'll show you what I mean on my website. So here, when I click here, I get some um, list elements that are hidden, but when I put my mouse over, these display, and these are just lists, like we've just been doing. But I have um, used CSS to make it um, look better, and I'll show you more about CSS in a future video. I'm going to show you how to make a hyperlink, or simply just a link. 
So to do that, we just type A, and then after the text that we want to be clickable, we type, we just make a closing A tag. Okay, so to make a link clickable, we need a href attribute. So you just do the same as we did up here with the language equals quotation marks and then in between here just the URL of the page okay so I've now put the URL of my YouTube in here and as you can see this will be a clickable link when we put it on a browser or if I put this in live mode um, so it will, I will save the document and show you what happens so on Dreamweaver you're just going to save it as um, a HTML document. So you'd save it in a, any folder you'd like. I'm going to save it in this YouTube folder and call it index.html. I'll explain more about this later, but for now, just know that the home page is going to be index.html. Okay, I've now opened the HTML document on my browser and as you can see it looks just the same as it did in Dreamweaver but now when I click this it should take me to my YouTube channel and it does. Uh, this just pops up because I've got this Lorem Ipsum here which is actually Latin but for some reason it thinks it's Indonesian. Um, now of course you might want this link um, not to open up in the same page but you might want to open it in another tab. To make this open in another tab we just add another attribute so we're going to use target blank and now we'll save that, refresh the page and then click that and it opens it in a new tab. Okay so I've now shown you how to make a link that opens in a new tab when you click it. So I'm just going to put in a few more links for these and then I'm going to finish off this tutorial for today. Okay, so I've now made these links all clickable. Um, now, as you can see, um, by default, it shows the links that I've already been on um, as this purpley colour and then this blue colour for links that we haven't clicked on yet. Um, in CSS, which I'll be showing you in a couple of videos time, um, we will be making this, um, we'll be changing the font and we'll be changing the colour of the text so it won't look as um, rubbish as this. <laughs> um, okay, so just going to summarise what we've learnt in this video and then I'm going to um, explain about what we're going to be doing in the second video. Okay, so today we've learnt basically the basic structure we need for any HTML5 document. Uh, I've explained about the different heading tags and the paragraph tags and as well as unordered and ordered lists and also how to make a link. Um, so in the next video I think I'm going to go over the tables um, and probably divs and then we might go into CSS if we have time, if not it'll be probably the third video. If you don't know what CSS is, it stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Um, basically, it's just the language we use to put a layer over this backbone, as you could call it, um, to make it look a little bit more appealing. <laughs> um, so you could change like the background, you can change where you want this to be placed, you can change the font, you can change the colour, anything really. Um, 
One last thing before we go, I'm going to make an image tag. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Basically, for an image tag, we don't have a closing tag. This is a self-closing tag. Um, so in between here, we type an attribute of src for source, and then the URL or the um, location of the image on the server. So I'm just going to paste in a picture here. Okay, so I have now put in a picture of myself from my website. If you don't have any, um, if you don't have a picture, just um, copy one from Google Images, or you can use this if you want. Um, and now we can change the size of this image if you would like to um, by adding a height and width at attribute. But to make it a little easier in Dreamweaver, all you got to do is change the size of it like that, and it adds the size in for us. Of course, you would have to type this in manually if you are not using a text editor like Dreamweaver. You can add a link if you would like to make this picture clickable. Um, you could have a link tag before it and um, a closing link tag after. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so thank you for watching and in the second video I think we'll be explaining a little bit about tables and a few other important tags that we'll be using quite often in this series of tutorials. In the third tutorial I think I'll be going over CSS, just the basics, and then we'll start making a very basic website about yourself um, in the next tutorials to come. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and um, please subscribe for more tutorials to come.